Welcome to the early edition of the KTLA 5 Morning News. I'm Megan Henderson. And I'm Chris Schauble. We begin with breaking news out of Hollywood. That's where a water main break has flooded part of the Coanga Boulevard area. Fire crews rescued people stranded on top of a car just minutes ago. Carlos Herrera live at the scene with the latest. Carlos. Hey, good morning. This just going on in this area of Hollywood, Coinga Boulevard and Odin Street, right off of the 101 freeway in Hollywood. Take a look. This is all unfolding right before our eyes. That vehicle there stuck in the middle of the road, submerged in about 5 to 10 feet of water. You can see it all going on around this intersection. This area obviously blocked off in yellow tape. We have LADWP crews and also firefighters on scene trying to figure out what exactly is going on and making sure that there are no other people trapped inside that vehicle. But take a look at this video here. Dramatic moments unfolding just a few uh, moments ago here in, uh, in this area. We did see LAFD water rescue teams pulling out two women that were sitting on top of the vehicle there. They were safely removed from this area, but boy, were there dramatic moments. This took about five minutes or so to pull them out uh, after they were stuck. Joining me here live, Assistant Chief with the LAFD, uh, Carlos Calvillo. Dramatic moments we're seeing here. Uh, tell me what exactly caused it all. Yeah, approximately 2.50 this morning, the LAFD arrived on scene. What we actually have is a, a water main break that's uh, flooding the area. Uh, firefighters were able, though, to get the two female victims that were on top of the car, get them back to safety. Right now, we're working with DWP to shut down the main still. It appears that there's two different shutoffs for this area. They've got one of them secured, but they're still working on the other. Uh, so hopefully we can get that shut down as soon as possible, and then we'll get this vehicle cleared and the roads open back up. The two women are okay. Thankfully, this could have been much worse for them. But there was concern of the of the sinkhole being created in that area. Well, it, you know, anytime if you have a large body of water pulling up like this, where is it going to escape to? Or if it escapes suddenly, you get a sinkhole. You'll get a mad rush of water that would kind of create that that toilet bowl effect and suck everything down with it. So. The fire, we were very concerned for the firefighter safety during that operation. They were able to take a ladder and keep themselves up above the water line and get those people up and off. So at this point, we have our swift water rescue team here. They're doing an additional survey of the area to make sure there's no additional bodies in the area, which it doesn't appear that there are. And uh, hopefully we'll get the area secured and then turn it back over to DWP. What about the other residents that are going kind to of be waking up to this? Do they know about this? Are they going door to door to letting them know? Any concern for them? Risk at all? At this point, we're working with that with our Swift Water team. Probably most of these people are still sleeping yet, so we haven't seen anybody coming out. Uh, and right there, we'd rather get this area secured, hopefully get this water removed, and they can just come out as they uh, normally would. Lastly, it's unknown if these women actually lived in this area or they were just driving by and then were caught in here, right. uh, obviously. Uh, we've been talking uh, to uh, some of the folks here on scene this morning, firefighters. They tell us it's not the first time they're actually here. We've been hearing from residents as well that this happened here around six months ago. Yeah, I've been hearing that too. I, I don't know all the history on that, uh, you know, but, you know, water main breaks happen, have happened throughout the city for a while there. We were having a string of them. So that very well could be the uh, possibility, but uh, I don't I don't know exactly all the details of that those incidents. Assistant Chief Calvillo, thank you for your time. Again, you can just see the water here flooding this area, about five to ten feet of it submerging that vehicle. Thankfully, those two women are okay. Swift Water Rescue Team with LAFD acting promptly. But Ginger, this obviously causing a mess for traffic in this area. Not only is this intersection closed off, but it might be a, a trickle effect to the 101 freeway that's.